So in this video we're going to create this Ferrari landing page design with the hover effects like this. Let's get into it. So to start the project just create a new folder on your desktop, open that up in VS Code. I have these images that you can find the links in the description and create a index.html and style.css and also we're going to use box icons. So go to this website, go to usage, first let's create the boilerplate and link the style.css. So after you click the usage, scroll down a little bit and copy this one, usage as a font and paste it right under the style sheet and let's also remove that margin and padding set the font family to poppins and sans serif and box sizing also border box and also you need this extension called live server if you haven't installed it just click on install it and after you install it you can right click open with live server to be able to open that html in your web browser and we are good to go so let's start with the html we're going to go part by part first let's finish the now bar and then we are going to style it and the home section and we are going to style it as well say logo ferrari and after saying ferrari we're going to add the image say ferrari logo or oh, not this one ferrari logo and we're gonna give it a class of Ferrari logo as well. Let's create the nav with the class of navbar. Let's create this anchor tags. We're gonna create like five, say, discover, review, featured, and contact and the first one is going to be class active and let's also create a div for the social media icons let's say we're gonna create like three of this and in box icons we're gonna look for instagram we're going to copy the font so click on this copy this and paste it here and Facebook as well. So the square one. Paste it inside here. And Twitter is going to be inside here. And we are done with the now bar. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, the logo is too big. And anchor tags at the bottom looks horrifying and we are going to style it so first let's style that body i'm gonna say background f3 f3 and f3 and overflow hidden and ferrari logo is going to be a lot smaller and header position fixed top zero left zero with 100%, padding 30 and 8%, background, not background color, just background, transparent, display flex, justify content, space between, align item center, and Z index, let's give it a high Z index, so nothing gets overlapped, and the logo, display flex align item center font size 36 color is going to be so this is apparently ferrari red text decoration none font weight it's going to be a bit high and let's style those anchor tags as well font size 18 color black gray ish color text decoration none font weight 500 
margin 0 to 20 border bottom 3 pixel solid we're gonna make it transparent first so that we can add the hover effect later on let's say ease and let's add the hover effect with the active let's say color this ferrari red and border bottom is also going to be the same color so we cannot see anything because the ferrari logo is still huge and i would guess this is because we capitalized that l there you go hover effects work everything looks okay so let's also style those icons so let's say social media a i font size 24 transition 0.3 ease and when we hover over it say transform scale so in this way we're gonna make it a little bigger when you hover over it and let's make the color the same red as well let's see if it works yeah it works but let's also make it color black yeah or maybe the same gray yeah that's better and now let's create the home section as well right under the header I'm gonna say section I'm gonna give it a class of home home content and I'm gonna copy paste some stuff from the official Ferrari website let's say beyond imagination and let me copy paste that paragraph real quick and we're going to have a anchor tag at the bottom let's say read more and also let's give it a class of btn and right under this div let's create another one say home image I'm gonna create another one called circle and then we're gonna put the image let's say ferrari.png and we're gonna create another circle say circle tool and that is pretty much it with the HTML let's style the rest so let's style that home let's say width 100% height 100vh display flex align item center and padding 50 8% and 0 and the home content max width 650 what else all the tags say home content h1 font size 60 pixels and line height 1.6 say home content h3 is going to be font size 40 and color is going to be that same color and the paragraph as well I'm gonna make it smaller we are basically creating a hierarchy of text font weight 500 so it can go from big to small and let's style that button was that btn yes so we're gonna give it display inline block padding 10 20 and background the same ferrari red border 2 pixels solid same red give it a little border radius text decoration none color white let's also give a transition because we're gonna add hover effects letter spacing 1 pixel and font weight 600 so let's make the hover effect as well so transform i'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger when you hover over it let's see if it works 
There you go. Or the home image. Let's say position relative. Right minus 50%. 800 height 800 and also the circle div you're going to style home image dot circle position absolute with 100% height 100% and we're gonna give that same white ish background border 50 pixel so basically we're going to put the car image inside the circle say border radius 50 percent yeah it still looks disgusting but we are so close to finishing it so just hang on and let's also style that image say position absolute max width 1500 gonna make it Rotate just a little top minus 50 and left minus 400. And now it looks like the car is coming from a portal. And let's set the second circle as well. Say position absolute top minus 20%. Right, minus 20% with 700, height 700, and let's give it the same red color as background. Gonna transform it, rotates 45 degrees, and we're gonna give it a Z index of minus 1 to push it back. Now, let's see how everything's looking. and everything works and it looks beautiful but we have a small problem with those icons so when you hover over it it becomes the same red and it becomes invisible so let's quickly change that oh this one let's make it the same white and that's it this is how you create a ferrari landing page thank you guys for watching and see you next time